We could go first to Mark chapter 13. You'll, be, you'll see I'll be tying some of these things together with some of the things we've been saying lately because God has had me camping here. And so in Luke, or I'm sorry, Mark, Mark chapter 13, starting in verse 31. It says, heaven and earth, this is Jesus preaching, of course, heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. But of that day and that hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels which are in heaven, neither the Son, but the Father. Now you can go back and read what he was saying before this. And then he says in verse 33, take ye heed, take heed, right? Watch and pray, for you know not when the time is. For the Son of Man is as a man taking a far journey, who left his house and gave authority to his servants, and to every man his work, and commanded the porter to watch. Watch ye therefore, for you know not when the master of the house cometh, at evening, or at midnight, or at the cock crowing, or in the morning, lest coming suddenly he find you sleeping. And what I say unto you, I say unto all, watch." And notice he, if he said, he said what, I, what he was telling them, he's saying to everybody, which includes us, right? So he's telling us, watch. What did Peter say? Be sober, be vigilant, keep watch. Jesus said, keep watch. Why? Because the master's coming. Peter said, be, keep watch. Why? Because the devil's coming too. Is that right? right? Now, notice here, <clears throat> look what he said in verse 34. The Son of Man, Jesus, is as a man taking a far journey who left his house and gave authority to his servants. Now, we see this. Go with me over to Matthew 28. And we don't have to read all this because most of these are verses you already know anyway. But in Matthew 28, Jesus did exactly what he just said the Son of Man was going to do. He was taking his journey and he left his servants those who serve him, he left them authority, his authority. You get that? It's tied together. So Matthew 28 fulfills or completes what Mark 13 said. Now, Mark 16 also says it. Remember in Mark 13 is what we just read. In Mark 16, Jesus did it. Right? And he told him, going, well, he said it in Matthew and Mark. He said, go into all the world, preach the gospel. And now notice he said the believers will lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. So he was saying, I left you my authority. Now, our job is to understand that authority and walk in that authority. Now, we can't just, well, you can, but it's not good, uh, to just come up with stuff. Okay? You have to go back and see what authority you have. Now, the authority you have is the authority that's in the name of Jesus. The authority in the name of Jesus is all authority. Because he said, all authority has been given unto me in heaven and earth. Is that right? In Luke 10, 19, he even says, Behold, look, see, I give unto you power, authority. That's what the word power there means, authority. Now, it doesn't just mean authority. It means the right to govern. Behold, I give unto you the right to govern. In other words, I'm putting you in position for you to rule and reign in my stead and do what I would do if I was there. Why? Because we are his servants and he is not here presently, so we have to occupy and do what he would do. Amen. Why? Because we represent him. Amen? Amen. 